In the ancient city of Athens, a dark shadow loomed over the people. Every year, King Minos of Crete demanded a cruel tribute. Seven young men and seven maidens, sent to be devoured by the fearsome Minotaur, a monstrous creature, half man and half bull, that lived in a vast and inescapable maze called the Labyrinth. The people of Athens were helpless, gripped by fear. But among them was a brave and determined young prince named Theseus. Tall, strong, and filled with a sense of duty to his people, Theseus made a bold decision. He volunteered to be one of the seven men sent to Crete, but unlike the others, he wasn't going to Crete to die. No, Theseus planned to end the terror once and for all by slaying the Minotaur. When Theseus arrived in Crete, the island's vibrant streets and towering palace stood in stark contrast to the darkness that awaited him in the labyrinth. Here he met Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos. Ariadne was as clever as she was beautiful, and though she was bound by her loyalty to her father, her heart was moved by Theseus's courage and determination. She knew the labyrinth well. Its endless corridors and twisting passages had swallowed many before him, leaving none to return. But she had a plan. On the night before Theseus was to enter the labyrinth, Ariadne approached him in secret. In her hands, she held a small, simple gift, a ball of thread. She explained her idea. Theseus would tie one end of the thread to the entrance of the labyrinth and carry the rest with him as he ventured deeper. By unwinding it as he went, he would leave behind a lifeline, a path that would guide him back once his mission was complete. It was a small object, but it carried the weight of hope. With Ariadne's thread in hand, Theseus entered the labyrinth, the silence thick around him. The walls stretched high, cold stone pressing in on all sides, each turn more confusing than the last. But Theseus kept his mind focused, unwinding the thread as he went, determined to face the beast. After what felt like hours of wandering, he finally heard it, the heavy breathing of the Minotaur. It was a terrifying sight, standing tall, with the strength of a man and the savage instincts of a bull, its eyes burning with rage. But Theseus was ready. In a fierce battle, with his strength and agility, he managed to slay the beast. The labyrinth, however, still lay ahead of him, a maze designed to trap even the bravest of souls. But Theseus smiled, remembering the thread. He followed the path back, winding the string until, step by step, the entrance came back into view, and with it, his freedom. Thanks to Ariadne's clever thinking and that simple ball of thread, Theseus emerged victorious, the hero who ended the cruel tribute and brought peace to Athens. And from that day forward, the story of Ariadne's thread, a ball of yarn guiding a hero through confusion and darkness became a powerful symbol. Over time, the Old English word for a ball of thread, clue, transformed into something more. It became clue, a hint or a piece of evidence that helps guide us through a mystery, just as Ariadne's thread guided Theseus out of the labyrinth. Like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating tales.